in Saudi Arabia? I've been keeping an eye on your mission. Typical day on the job. Not jealous, are you? Okay, let me just break down exactly what just happened and how this shop rowing goes for New Um I'm not sure if anyone's ever actually put in like this much time into figuring out like the shop rowing. Um, this was an adaptation on my New Gun Plus rowing. Um, uh, yeah, this was an adaptation from my New Gun Plus rowing that I adapted to New Game instead of New Gun Plus. Um, this requires you to be playing the uh, tech specialist class because you start with EMPs, it just makes it way easier. Um, and the first thing we do is obviously we go to the exit safe house, we exit the safe house, we click select and then we click on clearing house. If you watch back the clip you'll notice that I'm actually clicking on the button there before it even appears like that. Um, you don't have to... I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, every time I click start mission by accident I have to reset again, so that's my bad. But uh, the way this works is you don't have to wait for the clearing house button to appear, you can just instantly click on it as soon as like that menu starts loading. Even though it's not there you can still click it. Um, which is really convenient because it means you don't have to wait for it, you can just click on that spot if you know exactly where it is. And it's a pretty large button so it's hard to mess up. Um, so yeah we do that, we go select clearing house and then the first thing we do is scroll up three times because you start on this pistol, you scroll up once, you're on the tranquilizer round, scroll up twice, you're on seal car, scroll up three times, you're on pistol ammo. You want around 500 bullets to finish the game. Um, you might not use all 500, you might use slightly more, you might start running out towards the end, but it should be fine. About 500 is generally enough and then you want to go to the gadgets, you want to go down to EMP and you want to buy three of them. This will leave you with literally no money left and then you want to click on buy sell and you want to sell all the flashbangs. So that's really complicated to explain but the reason I, I do it this way, the way that I used to do this was I would go to clearing house and then I would instantly click buy sell and then I would sell flashbangs, I would sell the shock traps, the remote lines and the sound generator. It turns out you don't need to sell any of these free. This is completely useless, you don't need to sell any of these. Um, you do need to sell the flashbangs because it makes the next part a little bit quicker and easier to do. And uh, even if you don't sell anything you have enough money to buy 70 MPs which is conveniently you need 70 MPs to get through the first part of Saudi. As soon as you get out of Saudi you get the golden assault rifle which you can sell for 50,000 and once you have the golden assault rifle you can buy the rest of the EMPs that you need for the run. Uh, in, total, there are 30, there, in total there are 30 EMPs required to finish the game. Uh, seven of them are in Saudi at the start which is why we need seven. Um, so once you finish um, once you finish uh, Saudi and you get the Golden Assault Rifle, you can just sell it, you can do the uh, Grigori mission. Actually, you should do the Gr uh, Grigori mission first in uh, what you call it, uh, in Moscow, and then because that unlocks like the shop. And then once you've unlocked the shop, you can come here, you can sell the Golden Assault Rifle, and then you can buy 20 free EMPs, and then that's it, you don't have to worry about EMPs for the rest of the run. Um, when it comes to the pistol ammo, you need pistol ammo because otherwise you won't be able to do anything. You don't need to buy steel car, you can find steel car in the run mission. Um, and that's about it really for like, for the shop rowing. It's actually really simple but um, if you're not sure like what to buy or in what, in what order to do it, you can waste a lot of time here because every time you go through the buy sell menu you have to wait for this animation before you can do anything. Um, so the, the the more we minimize the animation the more efficient the shop rowing is which is why in the current row that I've got you scroll down three times uh, and you scroll up three times sorry um, 
buy 500 pistol rounds, go here, buy EMPs, and then you go to sell the flashbangs. Why do you want to sell the flashbangs? Well, here's the thing. You need to equip the gadgets, and you can do this a regular way. You can do it this way. You can click on that, and then you can click equip, and then you can click over there, and you can click equip. But there's a, a much quicker way of doing this, which is... Uh, as soon as you go into this menu, you click on here and then you click select. You click select twice, that instantly puts the EMP in the top slot. Then you press the down arrow twice and then you press select twice again. And if you do it quickly, it looks like this. And then you can just right click to go back and then click start mission. And because the start mission button is in the same place as the select button, this is actually really efficient because you can just do it this way. I did that wrong. <laughs> it's, it's really easy to sort of like lose your, lose your place and like do it slowly, but I'm going to try this again and do it quickly. Hold on. Like that. And now I have to reset the game again, so that's fun. Um, but yeah, that's incredibly, incredibly straightforward. It just takes a lot of sort of knowing the route and knowing what's the quickest to do and actually doing it and actually being able to execute ex execute it well as well because if you get thrown off it's really easy to sort of like lose your place in the sort of sequence and then mess something up or go a little bit slower than you might want to um so the whole process looks like this i wasn't paying attention then <laughs> um and the reason you have to sell flashbangs is, I didn't sell the last one, is because if you have a flashbang at the top up there, then when you go to the inventory and when you do this, the flashbang will be above the EMP, so you'll select the flashbang first. Selling the flashbangs is so that the EMP is automatically selected, um, which means that instead of having to like do that, then press down and then equip, you can just double click equip and it'll do it. Also, I have to press the down arrow twice because otherwise you just select the CMP and then that does nothing. So it's like that. And then back and start mission. It's really straightforward, like I said. It's just, it's really complicated to do properly. And if you were to like get this down just right, this is really quick. Like this is probably quicker than... Um, This is probably quicker than uh, doing um, uh, in New Game Plus. Because in New Game Plus you have to sell like way more, I think. I actually don't remember, but may maybe like I'm actually looking at this wrong and maybe you can like optimize this a little bit. Because you, you have way more ammo at the start in this one. I have way more money at the start, so you can buy about 500 there. You need. 30 of these for the entire run, and then... Yeah, you'd have to sell all of them, you really need to sell those far, so... I guess in theory it could be about the same amount of time, but... Eh. But in new game you also have to swap out the pistol as well. But you don't have to press down twice and it's way easier like this. So that's actually the shop round for both of them. You can just do it that way. Uh, Actually, I'm gonna just quickly try um, try the Shepherd and Queen Game Plus real quick because it's it's been a while since, since I've tried it, and I want to make sure I'm getting this right, just so that sort of you know how it's supposed to look as well. If you're gonna try this, like it's really complicated to get right. Well, it's not. It's just it's really difficult to do quickly. See that I got thrown off like right at the end in the inventory menu, but um, and sometimes the game will just eat your input. Sometimes the game will just not click on something when you've clicked on it. That's just because the UI is bad. But uh, yeah, it's if you can get it down, then it's it's somewhat consistent and it's pretty easy to do. It's just you need to sort of know what you're doing and you have to actually learn what you have to do. 
but yeah, like that's that's really quick. So I just wanted to quickly make this just so if anyone actually does want to like learn the show program, I'll probably do more videos like this, going over each sort of topic of uh, running the game. But uh, if you want to learn the shop rowing, then that's basically all it is. You, you need to make sure the EMPs are at the top of the list so that it's easier to select them in the inventory. You want to minimise the amount of times you swap between buy and sell, and you want to buy... Ideally, you want to buy everything that you need in one go, but in New Game you can't do that until you get to Moscow. Because in Saudi you only have enough money for um, for Saudi, basically. You have enough money for like the ammo for the rest of the game, but not for anything else. Also, you might have noticed in New Game Plus I went above 510 ammo, that's because we just have more money, so it's, you don't have to worry about it as much. Um, same goes for the EMPs, actually. You can buy more than 30 EMPs, it doesn't matter. Because like you have the money to go over it, so you don't have to be super precise, but... The key thing is that you have to have at least 500 bullets, you have to have at least um, at least sort of 30 EMPs. Um, unless you're doing a new game, in which case it's 7 and then 23 um, once you're done with Saudi. So yeah. Um, thanks for watching. I don't know like if I'll do more of these. I probably will. Um, I don't know if I'll put this on my main channel or not, because this is kind of like a weird video, it doesn't really fit with the main stuff on that. I, I might do. But um, yeah, if you ever wanted to learn how to speedrun Alpha Protocol, I might be doing more of these. Because it is sort of like an interesting game to run, like there's a lot of sort of intricate stuff like that, like the shop, like the menuing, but in the game itself it's fairly straightforward and fairly simple, it's just like running through the game on the cleanest possible line you can and knowing when to sprint. Um, I'll talk about that a different time though, because that's not relevant to the shop. Um, so yeah, I'm going out of there, because this has gone on for way longer than I think it should have. Um, tell me if you want to see more of these, because I, I do enjoy sort of... Cause like, there needs to be more people running this game, seriously. Um, the only issue is that you can't buy the game anymore on Steam, because the, right, the, like, the music license has run out. Um, you can probably still find like codes for it, but I don't know if you'd want to. Um, yeah, you can still get the game probably, it's just you can't buy it like officially on Steam anymore, which kind of sucks. But yeah, I'm just gonna go, I've got things to do. <laughs>